Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, today I want to talk about our public affairs uh, division in the Department of Ag. And public affairs is uh, kind of what it says. This is the communication division of the Department of Agriculture. And they have many, many duties. Uh, in a lot of cases, they're behind the scenes doing things to, to make sure the public understands uh, what we're doing, the issues that the department have. Uh, and it's not a big division. It's a six-person staff, but the work that they turn out is uh, absolutely amazing. As a farmer, uh, one of the things that I realized was how important the Agricultural Review was. And, and I think most of you are familiar with the Agricultural Review. And uh, it's about buying and selling equipment. And it's for individuals only, not commercial enterprises. And uh, there's so much information in there that uh, people really love this pu uh, publication. I actually do a, uh, a monthly article in the Ag Review that is uh, called From the Tractor, and it talks about uh, pertinent issues during the month that uh, we're working with here at the Department of Ag, and uh, the lesson I have learned as commissioner is do not let the Ag Review be late. I think there are about 44,000 people that actually get the Ag Review, and if it's a day late, my phone starts ringing. So we do our very best to get this out on time, to make it factual, to help with commerce in North Carolina. So this is one of the major things that our Public Affairs Division does. I'm proud to say that in North Carolina, we have uh, close to 2,000 farms that are uh, centennial farms. Uh, that means that they've been in continuous ownership by families for 100 years or more. Uh, we are proud to have a program called the, the Century Farm Program here in North Carolina. This is one of the signs that are available to these people. Uh, and this actually marks the 50th anniversary of the uh, Century Farms Program. And we at the State Fair had planned a great big celebration this year for the 50th anniversary, but unfortunately we had to cancel the State Fair, so we're going to move it to uh, 2021. I can tell you that I absolutely love uh, having this celebration, talking to these farm families that have held on to these farms for so long, and uh, I, I myself realized the blood, sweat, and tears that go in to uh, not only uh, buying a farm, but maintaining that farm and for 100 years is absolutely amazing. We also were going to offer uh, a larger sign for $50, and this is uh, an absolutely amazing sign for people to display on these farms. So we hope people take advantage of this and uh, purchase these signs. But we also have another program called the Bicentennial Farm Program, which is 200 years of uh, continuous ownership by the uh, farm family. And uh, think about 200 years and all the history and all the things that have happened during that period of time. And holding on to a farm for 200 years is absolutely amazing. Uh, speaking of the fair, uh, the Public Affairs Division also operates the State Fair Press Office, and if you can imagine what a large job that is, to be able to uh, put out everything about the State Fair, answer all the questions that uh, come in about the State Fair, scheduling me media interviews, uh, the, the list goes on and on. They actually moved the Public Affairs Division completely to the State Fair starting on Monday before the fair ever begins to operate. So uh, they're out there night and day for uh, almost three weeks, and uh, it uh, takes a lot of dedication. And the one thing that I know is uh, there's one person in this department that absolutely loves the state fair, uh, and that is Andrea Ashby, who is actually the editor of the uh, the uh, paper and uh, looks after all the stuff and uh, I love the state fair but she eats it, breathes it, sleeps it. Uh, so this is a wonderful experience to have somebody at the state fair that has this understanding. During this pandemic it's become uh, even more evident how important social media is as a way to 
uh, put out information and communicate uh, not only with uh, the media, uh, but within the department. So we have uh, all kinds of social media accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, a YouTube channel, uh, and a field blog. So our uh, public affairs division manages all this, and uh, they do a wonderful job at doing this. Uh, one of the uh, milestones that we just reached, uh, we had a kind of a campaign to grow our followers on Facebook, and we now have to top 20,000 people on Facebook. So we're proud of that, and it just makes it much easier to get the information uh, out there to the public. Uh, you can find a lot of news, uh, fun facts, recipes, uh, interesting information about agriculture uh, on all these so, uh, social media sites. And for example, in March, our public affairs division launched the Farm Feature Friday. Uh, that's where we show, share a short profile uh, each week of a North Carolina farmer. Uh, what a great way for the public to understand uh, actually what goes on in agriculture in North Carolina. We had uh, originally thought we would do 52 weeks of profiles, but now it's been so successful, we're going to extend that into 2021 uh, and continue to make this a popular feature. Uh, the public affairs team is behind the videos, the taping, the editing, and uploading uh, all of this to our site. Uh, and this, uh, what you're seeing today is part of this. Uh, we're doing a series that uh, in the department where I'm actually trying to educate the public as to what the Department of Agriculture does division by division. Uh, this is uh, quite a feat. Uh, we do have 21 divisions in the Department of Agriculture and each one of them do multiple things. So uh, I have really enjoyed being able to, to share with the public the things that all the great employees of the Department of Agriculture are doing to help them uh, every day. We like to say in the department that we touch every citizen of the state of North Carolina 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. And uh, I think if you watch this series, you will understand how we do this and why we do this and, and why it's so important that the things that we do are done. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and uh, sign up for a copy of the uh, Agriculture Review. It does come out in paper form, but also is posted online. So I encourage you to keep up with us uh, by taking the Ag Review and uh, reading it and uh, look at the commerce that's being created by the, the North Carolina Agriculture Review.